folks, and welcome to The Legacy. I'm your host, Doc Walker, and each week we combine the old school with the new with one thing in mind, that is to win. And we are honored this week to have a DC icon join us, Steve Buckhand. Buck, welcome to the show. I'm so happy that you were able to squeeze us in because you, my friend, since day one, have always been in demand. How are you? I'm good, Doc. You know, uh, everybody's surviving, uh, getting through this uh, the best way we can. And um, yeah. and hopefully there's, you know, there's brighter days to come for a lot of people. Uh, I have no major complaints here. I was so uh, excited about bringing this to Stevie and Kyle because they're young enough not to they'll probably have missed the most important moment in a lot of our lives who all played for this franchise. Yep. And that was the scrimmage that were televised by Fox. <laughs> WTTG with you, what do you remember about that? First of all, you're going back to before Channel 5 was even a Fox <laughs> television station. We were Channel 5 Metro Media and we didn't have the rights to televise the team. What we did have the rights to do because of Mr. Cook and our relationship was to televise the preseason games. Mm -hmm. And because your teams, Doc, obviously were so successful and so wildly popular. We decided through Ernie Bauer, our director and our oh, general Ernie. directors and whatever. He is the director. He I'm is. Yeah. We decided that wouldn't it be great to, if we could televise the scrimmages, not the, not even the preseason games, but this is how popular that team was and your teams were back then. We televised the scrimmages in training camp in like you say, Latrobe and Carlisle and some of these yeah. different places. And, and who would have ever thought people would be interested in watching a televised scrimmage? But we, not only did we do that, but we had the luxury of being able to access live microphones on, on coaches and players. We could actually talk to coaches on the field during the scrimmage, which was a, a beautiful thing. Unheard of. Fabulous. Yeah, so, believe me, it was a lot of pressure on the players because the last thing you wanted to do was get your head knocked off. <laughs> right. And then here you are interviewing the coach about what happened there? How did he just yeah. get his behind kill? That was a lot of internal pressure. Yeah, and let me tell you one other thing that was that came from those televised scrimmages. And again, people have to understand that the football team, known then as the Redskins, was so popular because of obviously all the success. I mean, I mean, we're talking about a team that forget about expectations. That team was we were, the, they were planning to go to the Super Bowl every year. I mean, they won it three times with Joe Gibbs, but that team was so popular and those televised scrimmages were so, you know, must watch TV that we got a call at the TV station from the state police in Maryland at the Bay Bridge toll booths. And they were telling us that there were um, uh, rear end accidents leading up to the toll booth because people had their Sony Watchmans, their little TVs right. up on their dashboard watching the scrimmages and not paying attention. Back then you couldn't multitask, you couldn't do both. Right. And they called us at the station and said, hey, you, you, people are running into each other because they're watching these games on TV, these scrimmages. This portion of The Legacy is presented by your local Nissan dealers. At Honda, we take the holidays seriously. Both with serious rugged performance and serious capability. So while others might be dreaming of winter wonderlands, you could be shattering expectations with the best value of the season. Now's the best time to get into a new Honda. KBB.com's best, best value brand for 2020. Visit Happy Honda Days at your local Honda dealer or shop online to get a great offer on the Pilot. Free health care, hundreds to more than $1,000 per month in disability compensation and tens of thousands for college tuition. These are just some of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs benefits that may be available to veterans. VA is focused on customer service like never before. Choose VA and see why veterans trust in VA reached an all-time high. Claim the benefits you've earned at choose.va.gov. <laughs> Here we come a-wandering so fair to be seen, love and joy come to you and to your family too. 
Yeah, things are a little different this year. Happy holidays! And we wish you a spend. But it's good to know you can count on holiday scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. Multiply the cheer. Please play safely and responsibly. D.C. has a home for the greatest hits of all time. That would be Michael Jackson for me. D.C.'s greatest hits. Madonna. Billy Idol. Live here. Cindy Lauper. Bon Jovi. 94.7. Blondie. The Eagles. The Drive. I'm so excited about getting you on this because you were the guy that was interviewing the guy who is in the Hall of Fame. And Joe Jackson Gibbs. One thing about Coach Joe I learned through all I coached seven years in this area in some capacity or so as an assistant. One thing I took away from Joe is you never bring a group in overconfident and you respect and be fearful of every opponent. Yeah. Can, you real, can you rewrite that story about when you were Joe? Yeah. Because you were serious. A lot of people don't believe that you were serious. <laughs> you were dead serious on that and so was he. Well, going back to those days when Channel 5 televised the preseason games. Again, we weren't Fox yet. We were right, uh, that's right, that's Metro right. Media, and we had the rights to the preseason games before we became the actual Washington football team station, right. which it is now. So we did all their games, and I was involved, obviously, in the broadcast. And this particular game, uh, so this was later. This was, in fact, when um, when uh, this, was, this wasn't a televised preseason game that we did. So this was in 91 or 9091. And I was in the booth before the game interviewing Jack Kent Cook, the owner, live. And I asked him, you know, what he thought about the team. And naturally he said, by God, Steve, by this God. is the best buddy damn team we've ever had. I expect them to go to the Super Bowl. And I'm thinking, wow, this is great. So this is a live interview we did, uh, interview we did pregame. Now we play the game and Cleveland beats the Washington football team in overtime. And, um, and this is a preseason game. And the team did not look good. And a lot of people picking them to go to the Super Bowl like Mr. Cook. So I'm in the locker room afterwards with Joe Gibbs. Again, we're live. And I got my microphone and I said, Coach, with two weeks to go until the start of the season, this team looks very spotty to me right now. I'd be concerned if I were the head coach, especially since so many people have picked you to go to the Super Bowl. And he says, well, who, who's a lot of people? And dumb, dummy me, instead of saying, well, the man that pays your salary, who I just talked to three hours ago, expects you to go to the Super Bowl. All I could think about was the fact that I had read Playboy Magazine's Pigskin Previews. And they used to have a well-known called yeah. Pigskin Previews. Yeah. And I, I wasn't looking way, at the- I didn't have it. I read it in the office. I know you did. I was did. on a doctor's I, appointment. Yeah, okay. Correct. And I wasn't looking at the pictures, Doc. Yeah, I, I was, did I they was, have pictures? Oh, no, okay. I didn't. I, I, I Allegedly, okay. yes. Okay. And so I'm reading Pigskin Previews, and it picks the Redskins to go to the Super Bowl. So I say to Joe Gibbs, well, Playboy picked you to go to the Super Bowl. He just about split a vein, man. He was Playboy. Playboy, Playboy picking football. He says, we haven't won a division title in here in five years, Steve. He says, take that for what it's worth. He says, I'm not taking that as a knock on our team, but I think we got a lot of work to do, man. And I'm standing there and veins are popping out of his neck. And, and he says, take that for what it is. And I just said, gotcha. And that was that. Fast forward six months to Minneapolis, Minnesota, yeah. when the team has systematically dismembered everybody oh, yeah. in the NFL and them. then destroyed, you know, Buffalo in the playoffs. Right. And I get Joe Gibbs again. And I said, coach, I don't want to tell you, I, I say, I told you so. And he says, they were right. He says, Playboy was right. He says, I'll never, I'll never go against them like that again. And in fact, I have on my wall in my office, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, program from the induction into the Hall of Fame for Coach Gibbs. Yes. And he writes on it, Steve, I don't care what Playboy says, Joe Gibbs. It's 2020. Let's make a splash. Play the DC Lottery's Roaring Cash.
windshield. Take one. Hey, guys, my windshield just got broken. I feel like I need to blow off some steam. Let's go. One, two, three. Mr. Blanks, <laughs> there's no need to be stressed. Geico makes it easy to file a claim online, on the app, or over the phone. Yeah, but what if I never hear back? That's going to make me want to go, jam, jam. Nope, your Geico claims team is always there for you. That makes me want to celebrate with some fireworks. Five, six, seven, go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Geico, great service without all the drama. DC has a home for the greatest hits of all time. That would be Michael Jackson for me. DC's greatest hits. Madonna. Billy Idol. Live here. Cindy Lauper. Bon Jovi. 94-7. Blondie. The Eagles. The Drive. This winter, be confident in a rugged all-wheel drive Honda SUV. Take control with a reliable CRV, the versatile HRV, the eight-passenger pilot, or the adventurous Passport with features like Honda Sensing, magic folding seats in three different driving modes. Now is the best time to buy. Don't miss your chance to get a great deal on your favorite Honda SUV. See your local Honda dealer and take on winter today. The Legacy is brought to you by Janet King. Let Janet King get your business back to business. Visit to schedule a disinfecting service today. What was it like covering our team? And, and when you guys were sitting in production meetings, because as a guy who's worked locker rooms now, I mean, it's like you had 10 guys you could go to, but yeah. there was one El Rigo. So what was that like? Well, there were a lot of characters on your team, Stock, as you know. And again, I keep saying this, but I really feel privileged to have been able to cover those teams. That was a special thing, Doc, to cover the, those guys and your, your team. I mean, look, how, you can't overstate it. How could it not be special? You're winning Super Bowls. We're in Minneapolis freezing our tail off for 10 days, you know, broadcasting and, and watching you guys and walking outside and where your nostrils would freeze. Or we're in um, San Diego in 88, you know, at uh, Jack Murphy Stadium, what a game that was with Doug Williams and Timmy Smith. And, yeah. and we're able to, to do stories every day on you guys and and be a part of that. Man, that's just something that, you know, you're going to have these, we're going to have these memories and they'll never go away. What does your gut tell you about the Burgundy Go, the football team, if where it stands right now? Because I feel like we're doing this, no longer doing that. Yeah. Well, I think what we've seen from Coach Rivera is positive, um, but but you know it's clear that you know you have to have the players, and they they slowly seem to accumulate, and then maybe sometimes lose players. But 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 I agree with you. First of all, defensively, this team is going to be serious. I mean, that front yeah. four is that's really something. But it reminds you of something you've already seen. Exactly. Dexter, Bucks, yeah, years ago, Merle, Charles and those yeah, guys. Tony McGee. Yeah. Uh, if you look at all, all those guys, oh God. Bobby Coleman, all those dudes. Oh, Superman. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Phenomenal. And it could be that again. I really think so. Obviously what I've noticed, Doc, and I'm sure you, you probably agree is that you got to have a really good quarterback to make this thing go forward now yeah, you do what alex smith did is phenomenal and even even when he's in a game as opposed to what we've seen the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. it's a different team i mean he he's got the command of a team now he may not be the guy he once was physically or whatever but it's a different team even when he's in the game so if you can get a marquee back look at obviously what brady has done what breeze has done what rogers has done if you can get one of those guys then for this particular team or any team but the one we're talking about then i think you're right i think it's an ascension i think that yeah that could be good somehow you, you got to get a guy that can stay here and stay healthy and 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 direct this team quarterback this team so i think it's great keep doing what you're doing man and, and we'll as long as they allow us, I say all I need is electricity. They give me electricity, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make something happen. Thank you for having me, Doc. I enjoyed the conversation as always. You got it. All right, that's gonna do it for this edition of the Legacy, and uh, I'm gonna be in trouble because Kyle and Stevie, I know they're gonna be mad at me. We were a little over time, but what do you do? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to have my guy Buck. God bless. We'll see you next week on the Legacy. Dun, 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 dun.